music was a, was a big part of my life. I actually started playing drums back when I was about eight years old. I played in several bands uh, throughout Connecticut in the 1970s and early 1980s. All these years of marriage, never saw him play. Unfortunately, I had to take a little hiatus in playing uh, between uh, the careers that I had throughout my lifetime. He just decided, you know, he's going to do it once he retires. Prior to 2018, I noticed just a lot of things going on physically with my body, and I attributed it to old age. He would hold out his phone to show me something, and he'd be shaking. And all of a sudden, everything that I was doing became work to me, and I was tired all the time. And it was to the point where he didn't want to go anywhere, didn't want to do anything, didn't, you know, and that's just not David. I started writing down all these symptoms and I brought them to my physician. She looked at me, she looked at the list and she says, David, I think you have Parkinson's. And I said, no way. She says, yeah. I went to a neurologist and they started their battery of tests. She stopped the tests halfway through. And she says, you know what, David, I don't want to waste any more time doing this. She says, I'm convinced you have Parkinson's. And I was like, okay, uh, what do we do about it? He really did some research on it, and this was the best thing. And I just pushed him. I said, do it. Just do it. You know, it can't hurt. So he reached out to me, you know, um, for therapy, knowing that I had a musical background and that I didn't mind using music as part of therapy. You think of a psychotherapist, you go into an office, you lay on a couch and you, you know, tell them all your problems. And I see him walking up the driveway carrying an amplifier and a guitar strap to him. I'm like, yeah, here we go. He tried here and there to play a little bit, was dropping sticks and just wasn't able to do it. He said, all right, let's see what you got. And he started playing. And I was like, ah, it was tough. It was tough to play. Very discoordinated, very, it, it, I, it was like, oh boy, you know. So what I did was, is instead I said, you know what, let's just jam, which is something I don't typically do. But I just started kind of playing four chord progression kind of things. And almost immediately he picked up on what I was doing and he just starts playing. I said, Mike, I can't do it. And he goes, what are you talking about? You can't do it, you're, you're doing it. Even though he was able right away to play by not thinking, there still was a little bit of stamina issues and there still was a little bit of strength issues. That's where people like Rob the Drummer and, and others came in handy. And now, Rob the Drummer will make different sounds just using his drums and cymbals and stuff. David contacts uh, a friend of mine and says, uh, I'm really up against it. He didn't know me from Adam before, so it's a trust factor. You, you got to get that, that trust thing going. When he started seeing the fruits of being supported and then trying a little more and trying a little more and getting it, that's, that gets magical. It actually started to get better in small increments and, and noticed that my activity level was up. I was moving better, feeling better, sleeping better, and just thinking better in general. Each time that I play, Every day that I play, every week that I play, it seems to get better and better and better. You can tell the times when he's in the zone and he's just kind of going with it. You, can, you don't see the rigidness or the, or the pain. You know, you see somebody who's kind of doing something that just seems so effortless and so natural. And at one point when I was able to play pretty decent, I said to him, I, I want to start a band again. And he's like, go for it. And... I took it upon myself to start searching around for musicians. David's been very lucky to have the people around him to support him, but he's also done the work. As much as it hurts my body sometimes to do it, it's only, I think in my back of my mind, it's only a temporary thing, it's gonna go away, and it does, and I just keep pushing through. The fact that a malady started to obstruct him, started to stop him, and his spirit rose, you, you can't ask for more than that. There's the bottom line.
last time that I visited with the neurologist, she looked at me and she said, you know, if I didn't know you, you weren't my patient, and we were talking right now, she says, I would never know that you have Parkinson's disease. The, the Parkinson's is obviously still there, but it's not nearly as bad as it was. I mean, this is really bringing him back to where he was before. Music and drumming is not a cure for Parkinson's, but I am thoroughly convinced through the research that I've done that it suppresses the disease and it extends your life. Is living proof that, you know, you can do things um, if you just do it.